All right, so in this lesson, we're going to be learning how to capture some signatures in Cricut Design Space, but we're also going to be using uh, an app that is available on the iPhone and Android uh, types of products, okay? So in this example, we're going to be using the iPhone. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the TurboScan app. And we're going to click on that camera right there in the lower left. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my shot box. And if you guys are interested in the shot box, please read the description below. But right there I have my letter that I'm trying to grab the signature off of. I'm sticking the camera right above it in this well-lit box here. And then we're going to click that big old button there to take a picture. All right, so the picture's taken. Now all we have to do is click Next. And then we need to send ourselves the JPG version, okay? That's very important. And then we're going to email it to ourselves so that we can upload this photo to Cricut Design Space. All right? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we do in Cricut Design Space. All right, so you emailed yourself and you downloaded your photo that you sent from that Turbo Scan app and you're ready to upload it into Cricut Design Space. So, in order to do that, you click Upload Images. You'll see the bleak blue button. We're going to go ahead and upload here. I'm going to hit Browse. Now, at this point, this is where you're going to need to navigate to the folder that you downloaded it to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and I'm going to click Open. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Simple Image, and that's because I'm going to show you at the end of the video why I want to do this, but just because we have a simple white background and we have nice black dark text, Simple Image will work for what we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click Continue. Now because it scanned in the whole sheet, I'm going to go ahead and use the crop tool and this will help save design space some time when it's trying to calculate and manipulate my file. All right, So click the magic wand and click the open areas or the white areas. And don't forget the inside of your letters and I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Now because I want this as a cut image, I'm going to go ahead and click this and hit save. All right, so you've done that. That's all that really is with this lesson. However, I do want to show you what would happen if we chose complex. Okay, so doing the exact same thing, but I'm going to choose complex and I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to go ahead and crop just like we did before. And then when I use the magic wand and do exactly what I did previously, you're going to see a little bit different things appear when I hit preview. So you see all those little specks? You know, so that is what I was trying to alleviate uh, by choosing the simple. Now you can, you know, use the eraser if you want. Uh, however, we got exactly what we wanted before, just using the simple trace. So, uh, hopefully that helped you out. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're going to be doing more videos like this in order to help you use your software uh, and your tools that are available to you, um, you know, in a tutorial. All right. So thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.